Welcome, my friends. A little while back on one of the Facebook user groups for laser users, people were asking about etching granite tiles. I've done it a few times successfully. I'll show you how I do it. Follow along. For today's project, where I'm showing you how I laser etch tile, I'm using a standard 12 inch by 12 inch granite tile available at Lowe's or Home Depot. To start the project, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you clean the tile pretty good. In this case, I'm using acetone. Highly recommend, make sure you wear gloves. Anytime you're using chemicals, you really don't wanna absorb those through your skin. It's really not good for you. As I said, standard 12 by 12 piece of granite tile. In this case, acetone, just cleaning it up pretty good. Just gonna be just some dust on it and such from the uh, store. So make sure you wipe that up real good. And that's that part. Move on over to the laser now. Okay, moving over to the laser, as I said, uh, this is a uh, LX Maker Mega Frame, and I'm using the uh, George Simon 2 watt laser. That's a, they call it the tile killer. Very good laser to buy. Highly recommend that. And also the Timothy Rothman black and blue 32-bit uh, nano board. They uh, both work real well. Back over to the Light Burn software. Uh, I've got it all set up. I've got my logo, how I want it. Uh, I'm burning all the layers that I have set up and all the things I want set to etch and burn at 1500 speed and 80% power. That seems to work out best for this laser. Uh, again, this is a two watt laser by George Simon. Great laser for tile work. And let's see, everything looks good. Do a preview. That's how I have it set up. That's what it's gonna look like ideally in reverse because it's gonna be on a black tile. Should just look, look just like that. Everything looks good. Um, always, always, always when you're working with a laser, make sure you're wearing some safety glasses or something of that nature. You don't want to be staring at the laser or catch a laser uh, that reflects off something in your eyes. It'll burn your retinas and losing your eyesight's really not a good idea. So let's uh, get rolling. So in this case, I am going to click start. It's going to give me a warning that cut is out of bounds. It's not. And there she goes. And of course, it helps if I uh, actually turn the laser on to burn. And you should be able to see we're starting to get a little bit of a uh, etching into the tile now. Uh, that's going to take some time. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's looking like it will take, well, nine hours. I'm certainly not going to be sitting here for nine hours watching it. But big tile, big burn, we'll let it rip. I could probably speed it up a touch and it'll go a little bit faster, but I, I really want to get a good uh, etch into the tile. So it's got to go to a certain speed. And that's that for now. We'll uh, visit it soon. So I ended up resetting it. I switched it over to flood fill, dropped it from that nine hour time frame to about three hours, a little bit less. So that'll be uh, a little bit more palatable as far as being able to do a video, checking on it and not have to worry about it in the middle of the night. Uh, I wouldn't recommend ever really leaving a laser running by itself without it being attended or being able to be checked on. Uh, a little bit better or easier with a tile to do that. It's probably not gonna burn through a tile, but if you're doing wood or anything flammable, don't leave your laser unattended. Make sure you're in a position where you can come to it in case a fire starts. Uh, there is potential because you are burning stuff uh, with a laser that it could catch fire and you really don't want to burn your house down. So we'll, uh, we'll let this go and we'll uh, check back in a little bit. All right, as you can see, my friends, it's not a really difficult process to etch granite tile. As long as you have your speed dialed in, your power dialed in, and you have your laser focus, you should get some res good results. If you don't on the first time you try it, try it again. Practice, 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 and that's the only way you're going to get better at this laser hobby. We all make mistakes, we all learn from those, and that's, again, how you're going to get better. If you want to catch some of the other videos I've done in regards to lasering or woodworking, I'm going to link those up above or at the end of the video. Make sure you catch some of those. I greatly appreciate it if you do. Other than that, I want you to know one thing. Your couch sucks. It's time for you to get up, get on, and go out in your garage and do something epic like etch some tile. See ya.